I see some Dawn. I see some good crews, the Polites, the Mutlers. Oh yes. We got Mac. Hello, hello. Good to see Mac. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And the Daniel crew in the big screen on oh, my yes. camera. How there exciting. Yes. Uh, well, guys, it is Tuesday morning. Watch out, world. I uh, am still promoting my form of caffeine. Uh, a little bit of coffee uh, never hurt anyone. No, right? no, I can't think of one person that coffee yeah. has killed. <laughs> no, see, that's exactly true. Um, so for you guys who are already on and with us, um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you, uh, Jesse Willis. He's a seminarian um, from our diocese, and uh, he'll be emceeing with me this morning. Um, so welcome, Jesse. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. it's good. It's good. Do you have uh, much experience in the totus totus world? Yes. Um, well, it's relative to other people, not really. But the last two years, I've been fortunate to be part of totus totus as a seminarian. Oh, great. Um, and it was great. It was a great experience. I wish I could, did it when I was younger, but I was... Mm -hmm. It wasn't on your radar. I was distracted, yeah. you know, by worldly things. So I'm glad everyone can be here and, yeah. and partake of this because I think it's a great way to to form relationships with each other and, and, yeah. and with Christ and, and to grow in that way. Yeah, certainly. And it looks a little different this year, as you guys are well aware. And Jesse, you're picking up on it since you're, you know, here and not out at Terra Sancta yeah. with the crew. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's going well. Um, who had the chance to watch us? Uh, there they episode? are. <laughs> Looks like Father Mark is in the chapel getting things adjusted. Are you guys doing well? Well, so, yeah, <laughs> we're working on it. Okay, that's good. You're on the right side of the grass. That's what's important. Yeah. <laughs> ah, woo! Woo, come holy spirit. Yes. We don't want That's Father Mark saying. getting flustered. Come on, come on, Holy Spirit, let's go. <laughs> there we go. So then you're going to help us with the song, right? Oh, yeah, we are. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's good. So, um, oh, yeah, where is the singer? I've heard of it. <laughs> it's good. So we don't need that. Typically, no, you know, no. not <laughs> in an opportunity where it's being recorded. Just like a Zoom call. I guess all right. Good. Um, so you can yes. yeah, maybe you could hear. In case um, you need to hear the song. Once we get uh, Father Mark situated, guys, we're going to dive into more of the general um, overview for the day. Um, but it's good. Father Mark, um, uh, is, is one of your, so I know that one of your, since you have two devices in the same room, it's pretty essential that one of them is muted. Or else there'll be a lot of back static. Uh, yep. Crucial. Crucial. Yes, I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, thank, thank you. There we go. Um, so, talking to the general public, who, what did you all think of last yesterday's Chosen episode? You were pretty impressed with our first Pope? Hey, can you hear me? Hey, yes. <laughs> We can. It is good. Loud and clear, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be the Lord working, doesn't it? Here we go. So when they tell us to go, then we'll just go. Perfect. Hey, and Father Mark, that'll be shortly. Um, we'll be going soon. But first and foremost, uh, since you guys, um, you know, this is our first time with Jesse on, on our Totus Tuus morning session, I thought it'd be fun if, if we learned a little bit more about him. Through the through the game of two truths and a lie okay so jesse willis all right let me uh think i think i have i think i have a good one i think i'm okay. gonna stump you so i have oh um i have three siblings a brother and two sisters um i went to world youth day in sydney australia and i got my bachelor's degree in biology from black hill state university Okay, so I am confident of one of them being true. I'm pretty sure, I met him two summers ago, but I'm pretty sure that you did get a bachelor's degree in biology. Is that true? That, that's true. Okay. Correct, yeah. okay, I'm gonna say that you did not go to Sydney for World Youth Day. That was a lie, yeah, I went to, work, I went to Brazil. Whoa, look at us, that's good. Well, hot dang, I went to Poland. You all should be pursuing see all the people. Day, um, when there's not a pandemic. In you the see all the um, but 
without further ado, um, Father Mark McCormick, our Diocese Vocations Director and, and Great Priest, um, when you're ready, will you go ahead and lead us in morning prayer? And uh, Daniel Household, are you preparing the sharing of the screen so we can read the Liturgy of the Hours? Yep. Perfect. Great. Everyone else, um, super helpful if you make sure your screens are muted. Lord, open my lips and let my mouth proclaim your praise. Um, hey, fa Father Mark. You ready? Hey, there we go. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great kings over the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works, Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us worship our, our mighty King and Lord. Please join me singing. The beauty of the rising sun begins to tend the world with light. With light. The nature glows with light as forms and colors reappear. Lord Jesus Christ, you far surpass the sun that shines since time began. We turn to you with joyous songs that you may bless us with your smile. You are God's knowledge infinite. His word through whom all things were made, their wondrous order speaks to us and draws our hearts and minds to you. Give us your light, that like true sons, intrepid we may tread life's path. May all our ways and actions show the gift of God, the Father's grace. Let every word our ships may say, prove our sincerity and truth, that our serenity of soul may radiate our inward joy. Do you, O Christ, 
Lord, you have blessed your land. You have forgiven the sins of your people. O oh Lord, once you favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob, you forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. But faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have blessed your lands. You have, you have forgiven, forgiven the, the sins of, of your people. people. My soul has yearned for you in the night. And as morning breaks, I watch for your coming. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open the gates to let a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace. In peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your guide are the desires of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My soul, soul has, has yearned for you in the night, and as, as morning breaks, I watch, I watch for, for your coming. coming. Lord, let the light of your face shine upon us. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness, you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, 
Let, Let the, the light, light of your face shine upon us. A reading from 1 John. We have seen for ourselves and can testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. When anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. I find refuge in him, and I am truly free. All my trust is in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My God stands by me, all my trust is in him. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as he promised of old through his holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born to the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship with him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as he promised of old through his holy prophets. Lord Jesus, by your blood, you have purchased for yourselves a new people. We adore you and we beseech you. Our King and our Redeemer, hear the praises of your church at the beginning of this day. Teach her to glorify your majesty without ceasing. You are our hope and our strength. In you we trust. May we never despair. Look kindly upon our weakness and hasten to our aid. For without you we can do nothing. Remember the poor and the afflicted. Do not let this day be a burden to them. But a consolation and a joy. So we continue to pray uh, during this totus, uh, tuus domi um, um, faith at home. We continue to open up our hearts to Jesus who calls us, to Jesus who has chosen us to be his followers, to be his disciples. He no longer calls us slaves, but calls us to be friends. And so let us hear God's word, the voice of Jesus, calling us. He has chosen us um, to, to give witness to his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue uh, to pray uh, for our parents, our moms and dads, that they can continue to inspire and hand on the beauty and the richness of our Catholic faith. So in a special way, we're grateful for our fathers, our mothers, um, for bringing your children uh, this week to, uh, to experience, to encounter uh, as a family, um, as a family of faith, um, this totus tuus domi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a special way, we uh, call on upon the intercession 
of St. Kateri Tekawitha as we celebrate her feast day today, and that she continued to be a light. Um, we continue to have her intercede for us, especially in these challenging times in which uh, racism um, and violence continue to plague our cities, our streets, uh, even in our families. And so we pray for an end of racism, uh, realizing that we are all God's children made in God's image and likeness. We all belong. Okay, guys, I see movement. I see some movements in the screens. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, great. A little technical I, difficulty never yeah. killed anyone either. Yeah, I am sorry. It, uh, we're just, we're here. Um, with Father, oh, Father's blessing us, we're concluding morning prayer. Okay, good. Um, God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Here we go. Okay, um, so I'm sorry if your guys' Zoom call kind of um, splotched out during the ending of um, of morning prayer. Have no fear, you weren't alone. Mine did too, but we're back and, and better than ever because uh, because we just prayed. Um, Jesse, should we dive into what the day looks like? I think so. I think it's yeah. time. Okay. I think we should get started. So what episode on the Chosen series today? Episode five, which deals with the wedding feast at Cana. Now, mm -hmm. the wedding feast at Cana, it always it makes me think of my own life. Laura. Weddings? I, well, weddings. And have you ever been uh, voluntold to do something, especially by your mom? Yes. Like somebody goes to your mom and says, oh, we're having a barbecue. We're doing this <laughs> yeah. or doing that. And your mom so graciously volunteers. You know, volunteers. Voluntold. Yeah, you get voluntold to yeah. do it for someone. That's exactly what happens at the wedding. You know, it reminds me of. Oh, that's a very good point. Very yeah. good point, Jesse. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm guessing some of you guys here. Um, I see some a lot of handshaking. You've experienced the voluntoldness of our sweet mothers. It happens. Yeah. It does. Yeah. So episode five, it's going to be a great, um, a great show, and then um, the whole rest of your day can be centered around that. Um, our um, our challenge of the day is doing a lovely rosary walk. Um, so I didn't experience a rosary walk until I was a Duke and Altham teacher um, one summer in college, but our team did that every every day. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, and just like to really take in what you're walking around and, and praying for, you know, the families on the block that you're walking by their homes and, mm -hmm. and uh, just mm -hmm. things like that. It, it's so yeah. good. I think it's good. Also a good kind of small, simple way to evangelize as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're brave enough to go out to your neighborhood and to pray the rosary, I think a lot of times it can give, you know, other people the courage as well. Yeah. To say, Maybe there's something to this. Maybe I should look into this more. Yeah. And we are, we are brave young women and brave young men here on Duke and Altum 2020 Domi edition. So let's do it today. Pray those rosaries. The luminous mystery is the, is the, um, is the one centered around um, the day with the wedding feast of Cana being one of the decades. Um, along with that, we have four supplemental activities for you guys. A great um, butter 
butter cake recipe with a buttercream frosting, mm -hmm. which I am a celebrator of that because I, uh, I'm a lover of buttercream over cream cheese. What about you? I'm a rice cake kind of guy, you know? Rice gotta cake. Got to keep slim. Huh. Gotta keep There's slim. two kinds of people in the world, those who appreciate the good things and those who eat rice, I guess. No, no, that's good. Uh, that's good. I'm sure. I'm sure you actually like cake too, right? I like cake too, but it's just all for the greater glory okay, of God. That's good. That's good. Uh, Penance, so, as they say. Yeah, very true. Very true. So we got some recipes, unless you're like Jesse and you like your rice cakes. Those I will never uh, share with you how to cook them because I have no idea. <laughs> um, and discussion questions for you and your household. Um, a great after meal prayer, which is just a uh, uh, habit that I think households can get into. Um, just in addition to praying before your meal, mm. um, offering up that after meal Thanksgiving. Um, so, so take a look at that in your guys' resources. And then additionally, uh, what I look forward most to for the day of Todas Tus Domi is the action for the day, which is called Generous Mary. And, uh, and it's, I think it's going to be the fun thing where um, all of our different households can really get creative on how you can, um, how you can just bring someone else a little bit of... Um, how you can serve each other. Yeah. How you can give yourself away to another. Yeah, exactly. So take a look at that. Um, I can't wait to see what everyone ends up doing um, through um, posting it on Facebook or or Instagram or emailing them to Jacques. Make sure that you always keep that hashtag totus tuus domi um, present or else we won't really be able to, you know, see what everyone's doing. Um, so don't forget to do that. Um, it's going to be a great day, guys. Here we go. Um, and... Without further ado, I don't know if you guys have uh, been checking out the squares in your Zoom call, but we have one among us that is not necessarily a Diocese of Rapid City local. Um, we have a Marian sister from um, the Diocese of Lincoln, Lincoln, Nebraska, um, which sister, uh, your presence just brings me a lot of joy. Um, your guys' order was one of the first that, um, that I actually built a personal relationship with um, at my time at UNK. So um, it's very, very exciting to have you here. And uh, when you're ready, Sister Agnes um, Williams, go ahead and unmute yourself. And, uh, and she's gonna share right. with us a little bit about her testimony. Thank you. And I have to say, first off, this is not my computer and I don't know how to change things. So I'm Sister Faustina. Oh. <laughs> I tried, I don't know how to change my name. So okay. I'm Sister Faustina. <laughs> Um, but before I share my vocation story, I have a funny story to go along with the wedding feast of Cana. Um, so this morning, one of our sisters, her sister got married and she wasn't able to be at the wedding. And so they came to visit yesterday and they brought her some wedding cake. So this morning she pulled it out after breakfast and we were all taking a little slice and trying it out. Um, I was like, this is perfect. It's wedding feast of Cana day. So we had our wedding cake for breakfast. I don't recommend it kids. Don't have cake for breakfast. Have it later in the day it's a dessert right <laughs> but i'm really excited to be here with you i'm sad that we couldn't be there in person but i'm glad to see some of your faces um so my name is sister faustina i am from shenandoah iowa which is a really small town in southwest iowa i grew up on a pig farm so if there's any farmers out there i understand your life hey you did too awesome those smelly pigs they're so much fun <laughs> um so I am in a family of four, so I just have one older sister and grew up on the farm and we grew up Catholic, but really didn't take the faith very seriously. We went to mass on Sunday. I went to youth group, but that was about it. We'd pray before meals, but we didn't really talk about the faith at home. We never talked about vocations. I never met a sister. There weren't any sisters around and religious life was not something that was on my radar at all. Um, but when I was in high school, I went to the National Catholic Youth Conference, or NCYC, um, and had just a very powerful experience of really encountering our Lord in the Eucharist there, and like knowing in the depths of my heart for the first time, like, whoa, that, that is God. Like, I just received God. That's amazing. Um, so I knew that I wanted to grow in my faith when I went to college. So I went to Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska, um, which is a Jesuit Catholic university. And when I was there on the very first day of school, 
I was really homesick. I was like, Omaha is a big city and I was missing the big open fields of Iowa and the farms and the grass. I'm like, why do they have so much concrete here? So I went to this little um, garden area on campus and I was leaning up against a tree, reading a book. And lo and behold, there was someone on the other side of the tree. It was a really, really big, big tree. I didn't know this girl was on the other side, but when she got up to leave, she said, hey, my name's Liz. Would you like to come to mass tonight? And she had no idea that I was Catholic just totally invited me out of the blue. I was like, yeah, I'd love to, because I've been looking for that community and that opportunity. So I joined her at Mass, and I met a lot of other Catholic students who were going to daily Mass, which I hadn't had that opportunity going to public school. Uh, they were praying the rosary together. I joined a women's Bible study, and that really sparked my love for Jesus and that relationship um, that formed with him. Um, I started going to daily mass, I started praying the rosary, um, and just yearned to be with him and spend more time in prayer. I'd be walking across campus, and the church was in like the middle of campus at Creighton, and I'd find myself stopping in there to visit Jesus every time that I'd go by. I'm like, oh, just a little visit, and little visits turned into five minutes, turned into ten minutes, turned into making a holy hour every day. I was like, Lord, what is, what is going on in my life? Like, what are you doing? Um, and one of my friends in Bible study had asked me one night, hey, have you ever thought about religious life? And I looked at her like she had two heads. I'm like, absolutely not. Not for me. No, it's not. I'm like, that's for people who are old, people who are boring, and people who just want to pray all day. And that's not, that's not me. Um, but she told me about the Marian sisters and said, here, like, here's their email. Just, just check it out and see, see what they're like. So I let that piece of paper sit on my desk for six months staring me down <laughs> and Jesus was continually um, putting it in my heart and I said okay fine I'll go visit I'll give you an afternoon there Lord and prove to you that this is not it um, because I was going to pharmacy school at the time at Creighton and I had my life planned out you know I'm going to be a pharmacist and a mom of like nine kids and marry a farmer and we're going to farm and rodeo everywhere and it's going to be great uh, so when I went and I visited the sisters, I fell in love. It was not boring. It was not what I thought it was going to be. I got to see the joy of the sisters and knew that that was something that my heart yearned for and that my heart longed for. Um, but my heart was stubborn and it took a while for the Lord to convince me that what he desired was really for my good. I kept asking, I'm like, right, is that, am I really going to be happy living that life? Is that really? Is that really what you want? Um, so I ended up going through and finishing out pharmacy school. And then that last year of pharmacy school, I knew I was like, okay, like this is it. I, I have to take this step and say yes to the Lord because if I don't, I'll always wonder what if. What if I followed what he was calling me to? Uh, so I finished out pharmacy school. I worked for a couple of months and then I entered the convent. I would have been in September of 2016. So I've been here for about four years. Um, it has been incredible, uh, such a blessing and such a gift. And thinking about the wedding feast of Cana, like the miracles that God has worked in my heart and in my life to bring me here, but also the miracles that he has worked since being here to grow in a deeper relationship with him and just to continue to fall in love with him. God, he is full of surprises and when you tell him those, even those tiniest, smallest desires of your heart, like he wants to know those and he wants to fulfill them. And he showed me that so much and given my heart just a greater zeal um, for him and for the church and being able to serve and love in the way that he's asking me to. So I was just thinking about this morning, I'm almost a year since I made my first vows. My first vows were on September 8th last year, which is Mary's birthday, which is a really cool day to get married to Jesus. Um, so yeah, thinking about the wedding piece of Cana and just what a gift, like I continue to be in awe of what God has done in my heart and in my life um, and the blessings that it's provided for my family too. My family really had a hard time in the beginning when I told them that God was calling me to religious life and they weren't um, very happy or very pleased, but they are full on 100% supportive and totally see the graces now. And it's just incredible to see the miracles that God has done is and is continuing to do. So yeah, that's kind of the gist. Well, uh, Sister Faustina, thank you.
um, for sharing. Uh, yeah, I think that all of us can agree that you have applause is coming in the form of silence. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it, it resonates with all of us. Just that question, um, whether it's like, you know, as large of a, a yes as, um, as like re entering religious life or, or smaller yeses, like, like will this invitation from the Lord really bring us the happiness, you know? Um, but uh, it's a beautiful reminder, your story that like, um, you can bring that question to the Lord and, um, and his love prevails. Um, right. so, Amen, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it uh, kind of reminds me, <clears throat> Back my first year uh, in uh, youth ministry, I was, you know, in a moment of holy cow um, <laughs> crisis. <laughs> crisis. If, yeah, <laughs> um, and uh, and the Lord just told me, you know, like like Laura, I love you, and I will spend the rest of my life proving that to you. You know, so every day, like you know, um, there's just more and more of an opportunity. Yeah. As we would say at Kenrick Glennon Seminary, it's a source of repetition for you to go back. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's good. So, Sisters Pasina, thank you so much um, for, for your yes and, and everything that you're doing for our church. Keep our diocese in your prayers. Um, yes. as we will back with, um, with your, your community, please. Yes, thank you. Well, and I have a shout out for anyone who knows Sister Joan Colby, Kerstad from South Dakota. Yeah! Yes. Totally. I graduated high school with her, so. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, I know. I know. He wins. Um, yeah, so say hi from Jesse Willis and the rest of the Totus Tuas Domi crew, um, as well, well as Serena, um, please. But, okay, well, to the rest of you who's diving in, yes, thank you very much, um, sister. Uh, reminder that Wednesday afternoon is our, is our time for, um, for the talent show. So get to brainstorming. Creativity takes a while, so don't put it off like your math homework, okay, people? Right. Start now. Those, uh, those three to four minute um, videos have to be in by Wednesday at noon, um, and then we'll get to watch them on Wednesday evening. The oh, O'Connor yeah. family's ready. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. I'm looking forward to it. The yeah. show is always great. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And then um, the other reminder is, yeah, just to give the Lord time today. Um, you know, um, do the rosary walk intentionally as a family, um, and, and, uh, and the after meal prayer and, and the discussion questions, um, I encourage you guys just to be a little bold with your, with sharing your heart or your thoughts with your family. Um, there's no better time than this week when, um, when the questions are in front of you and the people are beside you. Um, there is no one I prefer to share my faith with than my family. Um, so, so let them know what, what you think and how the Lord's working in your life. Um, amen. Yeah, without further ado, I'm going to apologize for being a little late. These were supposed to be 30-minute sessions, but we'll blame the technology. And uh, have a great day. Jesse, will you conclude us in prayer? Yeah. Yes, and gentlemen. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, we give you thanks for bringing us together for an opportunity, even during this time of pandemic, through the use of technology, to come together and to grow into, in fraternity and, and to grow in our relationship with you. We just ask you to send down your Holy Spirit to give us that boldness to change our lives and to spread the gospel to others in, in both great and small ways. And we ask this through the intercession of your Holy Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Totus. To us. Totus. To us. Totus. To us. Totally yours. Totally yours, good Lord. Okay, have a great day. Seize the day. Don't eat rice cakes. Don't do it. <laughs> do it. Bye, guys.